Quick review on the Android A Toto A6 deck. Um, kind of just basic operational features. It does not have a DVD drive. <clears throat> it has SD slot. It has three USBs, aux jack, the usual Bluetooth. Um, it has GPS, but it kind of relies on the internet to load the maps and stuff. It's kind of annoying. Um, so I don't really use that feature. Um, I don't normally connect my phone to the deck, so I usually just put all of my music on an SD card. Um, it is pretty handy for like searching for things and everything. So like album, I can do my singer album folder. Just go. But one of the real keys here is the fast boot that the A22 A6 does that a lot of the other Android decks don't. The booting and loading time from like completely powered down takes a minute, just like when you start your cell phone up. It's it's a little slow, <clears throat> but with the Android A Toto A6, I keep saying the whole damn thing and I shouldn't bother. Uh, it has the fast boot, so it's already back up and running. Um, obviously, it has input for a rear camera, so there is a minor delay in my camera coming on because you can see I've actually put it back in neutral and the camera is still on. I have a custom wiring thing set up. Um, one nice thing is it doesn't pause the music when it's in reverse, which is kind of nice. But when it's in the reverse mode, you can't actually adjust the volume until the screen comes back. It's kind of a little weird thing. Um, once the dang thermal switch kicks out, there we go, thank you. Um, it does dim when you have the, the headlights on or off. So headlights on, screen dims. Um, but the nice thing is if it's daytime like this, I can hit the little icon here and brighten the screen back up. <clears throat> little pull down menu options, um, sound settings. Here's one thing that is weird about this deck, <clears throat> the equalizer. When you go to equalizer adjuster, um, you'll notice it's got the usual, <laughs> it's okay, no, it's okay. Um, it's got the usual preset garbage, but it doesn't have a particular like user preset or manual preset. So the thing that happens here is You'll make your adjustments. Let's just toss some adjustments in, right? You get it sounding the way you want. Everything's peachy keen. You know, um, it plays in the background. If you go back to make another adjustment, the minute... Actually, it stayed that time. Usually when I go back to make an adjustment, the minute the screen pops up, it resets to rock or whatever I had it on. You know, it doesn't usually maintain that adjustment is kind of weird but to that time it, it stayed weird i mean i imagine that's something they might fix <clears throat> with a firmware update i have actually uh, emailed them about it and and told them about just the little things i noted i haven't done an update on this thing in a while to kind of see what difference that'll make but um overall it's been a pretty nice little deck um bluetooth audio connection stuff for the phone is about what you expect. It's a basic Bluetooth connection. You know, it doesn't really display much for information. It's pretty much just a Bluetooth audio connection. And you know, you can control your phone calls and, and all the usual garbage. <clears throat> you know, it has, you can run apps so you can install Pandora. Um, we actually use Netflix and Hulu on this thing fairly often when we're stuck eating in the car during COVID shit. The deck comes with uh, Torque installed, which is kind of cool. Obviously you can set the desktop however the heck you want. Um, as far as that would be the regular broadcast stuff that nobody uses these days because the stations around here are garbage. Um, that apparently just goes back to my Bluetooth audio. But then, yep, I can go right back and, like I said, I can choose any of my folders I want. and You know, and five, five flavored fruit punch, which everybody hates. So, you know, there's that too. Um, but yeah, that's kind of just a basic rundown of how it operates. I've actually been really happy with this deck. Uh, it's worked very well for us. Uh, to be honest, I've never used the aux jack, but the Bluetooth sounds really good. It works very nice. Um, using the phone call functions, the little microphone that's built in picks up very nicely. Uh, honestly, it's been a great deck and I really, really am happy with it. I bought a cheaper Android to try that was like a, maybe only a hundred bucks. I don't even remember the Chinese name of that one, and it's not bad, but I'd have to do a review on that to explain it, and that car's in storage right now. This is definitely 
this was worth the extra money for sure. So just kind of, I mean, if it helps, you know, the nice thing besides the touchscreen buttons, you know, there are physical buttons too, which is kind of nice. When you bring up the volume, you can actually, you can actually use the touchscreen portion of it too, which is kind of handy. So yeah, that's it. That's like a Toto A6.